Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we have got another grocery haul and a meal plan. So we went to two stores today. We went to Ruler Foods and we went to Walmart. We had to buy some non-food items and Ruler's is still kind of out of stuff. And there's certain items that I can't get there that I really enjoy um, to keep like on a weekly basis. So as much as I love going to Ruler's and they have really good deals, uh, I still have to kind of go to two stores depending on what's on my meal plan or my grocery list for the week. So at Ruler Foods, I spent $68.98. And then at Walmart, I spent $88.98. 39 cents. I did have to get quite a few light bulbs, which we all know light bulbs are outrageous. <laughs> but um, in total, between both stores, it was $157.37. So I've got everything on the table. I had a few complaints on the last grocery haul that people didn't like it underneath the lights, that it was too bright, it was washed out. So I'm going to do it on the table this time. Y'all let me know. We'll keep moving it around, whatever until we get it right. But I've got it all here on the table. I've got one side ruler and one side Walmart. So here is everything. Definitely have a good size table full for 150 some dollars. I don't remember how much I said. So this side over here is ruler and this side over here is Walmart. We'll go ahead and start at ruler first. I got three packs of the brown and serve rolls. I'm gonna be cooking lunch for everybody on Sunday after church. So I needed, I wanted to pick up some rolls. Also got a 24 pack of water. Got some chips. Got Winston some mini corn dogs. Also got the Kroger brand Velveeta. Needed some mushrooms this week. I also needed a pepper this week and I also needed onions and I could not find either. So I do have a few onions still here, but I like to kind of stay stocked up but that'll be fine, we'll get us through for the week and hopefully next week I can find us some onion. Got some bananas, picked up two apples. Um, I got a can of black olives. Winston got some donuts, as you can see, they're already open. <laughs> the ground beef was on sale again for $7.49 a pound, so I picked up two of those. And then also got a bag of chicken tenders. I think those were $5.99. The cheese was on sale this week for $1.99 a bag, so y'all already know I racked up on the shredded. Got Parmesan, Cheddar Jack, Mild Cheddar, uh, Nacho Taco Blend, and Colby Jack. I'll check and see what I have already in the fridge, and then if I have doubles, I'll just put it in the freezer. Also got some cheese cubes, got sliced cheese of Colby Jack, and some Havarti. Got two things of cream cheese. They didn't have any of the cinnamon roll yogurt, but Winston picked out the banana cream. We'll see if he likes it. I feel like he's tried it before and he didn't, but y'all, he was dead set on getting it. So that's fine. We're venturing out, trying new things again. <laughs> so we'll see if he likes that. And then I needed some more heartburn medicine. Still haven't made it to Sam's with the snow that we had last week. We weren't able to go. So picked up that and I'm going to start stocking up on um, like medicines and stuff that we need um, outside of like prepper pantry food. I also am going to start stocking up on stuff like that. Medicine household, cleaning, kind of things like that. So I got another one of the electrolytes to put back for Winston. And then the last thing for rulers is a bag of potatoes. So that's all, all the things a ruler and then for Walmart light bulbs we needed there's they these are the 150 watt they're special like special ones that you have to have for the light in the kitchen right here they're like four something a piece Whew. so picked up three of those and then we also got a big thing of the great value this is the 60 watt the um, the daylight LEDs, this is what we use around the house where we can, of course, use them for the 60 watt, but these are per these are the ones that I use that are perfect for filming. If you need nice, bright white lights for filming, if you're a YouTuber, content creator, 
definitely recommend these. This is what we use anywhere that we can, except for if they're like the specialty bulbs. For my stock up for the week, I went with cornbread and I also got evaporated milk. I got two packs of Mexican style, two packs of buttermilk, two packs of the sweet yellow, and then I got four packs of Jiffy, and then four cans of evaporated milk. These are our new favorite, the Dark Reese Thins. If y'all have not tried these, oh, they're so good. And definitely recommend putting them in the fridge. Got a weather seal strip. The downstairs is really cold. So we're gonna try this around the door and see if it can seal better um, and kind of cut off some of the cold air that's coming in. We got one can of French onion, one can of broccoli cheese, and then three cans of cheddar cheese. I got a pack each of the Ritz. We got the cheese and the peanut butter. I also got some banana nut muffins for Luke and for Winston and myself. These are really good. I, I normally like to get the pack where it's got like the six banana nut and six chocolate, but they didn't have any of those. And then of course, our week, new weekly staple is the uh, honey buns. Got some almond milk. We're still good on regular milk. So I just picked up one almond milk. Winston should be going back to school this week, so we should only need one. Um, got 18 count of eggs. Got some sweetened coconut flakes. I'm gonna be making a cake for my mom for her birthday, and I needed coconut. Got Luke some Gatorade. Picked up two Diet Cokes and two uh, Diet Mountain Dews, of course, a uh, great value brand. Got some LA, they had some this week, so I got Luke one, uh, another one. Got some, it says steak buns. And then uh, I had said a couple hauls ago about I haven't been a fan of the Ruler brand or the Kroger brand, whatever bread. Um, we're a sucker for the good to dough, but they don't have it at Ruler's. So I've decided to pay $2 and get the bunny bread because it's really good and I'm tired of having crappy bread. So we got that. Got a little thing of buttermilk. I need it for um, the cake recipe for my mom. And then I also picked up some crackers. So that is everything. Let me get all this put away and then I will share my meal plan next. Here is our meal plan for the week. As you know, we don't follow day to day. I just kind of pick and choose what feels right for the day or if somebody requests something a certain day. We are going to start out with some burrito bowls. I got this idea from TikTok. She just made this huge like burrito bowl like a Qdoba. It had rice, it had corn, it had black beans, it had the like fajita chicken, it had sour cream, cheese. She just loaded it up and it looked really good. So I was like, I gotta do that. Also gonna be doing some hot beef subs. This is a crock pot recipe. I found this recipe on Pinterest, so I'm excited to share that with you guys uh, next Monday. It looks really good and sounds delicious. And then Grover asked me to do some Salisbury steaks. So we're gonna do some mushroom onion Salisbury steaks. And we will do mashed potatoes and some other side. We'll just have to see. And then another crock pot recipe I have planned this week is cheesy chicken, broccoli, and rice. I have never had luck with cooking rice in the crock pot, but Megan over at Megan's Kitchen, she recently made a crock pot recipe with chicken and rice, and she cooked her rice separate and added it in later, and I was like, that's genius. <laughs> Why have I not thought of that? Um, I've never had luck with rice cooking in the slow cooker or pasta cooking in the slow cooker. So I'm taking her spin on that and spinning it for my own and kind of making my own recipe. So y'all will see that Monday, next Monday as well. And then Friday I left blank. Y'all already know we have a ton of food here. We can figure out something, but we will be out of town for Saturday and Sunday. We're going out of town to see friends in Alabama. So I'm not sure if we will be home in time, or we should be home in time for dinner, but granted if we will actually eat here or not, just depending on what time we get back and cause I'll have to go to the grocery and all that stuff. 
well, no, I won't have to go to the grocery because I'll be here Friday. So, we'll take that back. Anyways, we'll figure it out. It'll probably be something easy like some Red Baron pizzas or something. But here is the game plan, what we got going on this week. Hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul and meal plan video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.